Okay, this problem is an important one. It really reinforces plugging in, how important it is coming up with your own numbers and working from them. Do not solve, meaning do not solve algebraically. This will get you into trouble. So let's plug in. Remember, we want to avoid plugging one, so let's come up with two. If m is two, what does x become? Well, if m is two, in this column we have a little two right there gives us one over two squared, which is one fourth. These are the same, so one fourth plus one fourth is equal to one half. If that's the case, what's x have to be? Well, x is simply one half, or x is simply equal to one, because again, one fourth plus one fourth is one half. So when m is two, x equals one. Now, we just have to take this information and we have to plug these back into the problem. So we're looking for one when we plug m is two into the answers. That leaves us with a, which is two over two, which is one, and it leaves us with a b. None of the other ones work, so c, d, and e are all gone. But which one is it, a or b? Do not despair, simply plug in another number. So let's plug in three. If we plug in three, we get one over two thirds in both columns, which is equal to one over eight. One over eight plus one over eight is equal to one fourth. At that point, we can say, well, what value for x would give me here a four? And that value would be two. So when m is three, x is two. Now we're only between a and b, so let's plug in m is 3 into a. That gives us 3 halves. We're looking for x is 2. So let's plug m 3 into answer choice b. 3 minus 1 is 2, and there's our answer.